Hi friends and welcome to Monday Reading with Simon and today I'm going to read you a story called The Bad Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. In the story we will see how to share and value our friendship, an important concept of time, size and shape. Are you ready to read? The Bad Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a bad tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the bad tempered ladybird. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure for itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. Go away! At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the wasp, showing his stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with the long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If it insists, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At twelve noon, it spotted a bow constrictor. Hey you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If he insists, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad tempered ladybird and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinosaurus. Hey, you, said the bad tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If he insists, said the rhinosaurus, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. 
At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the big bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you! said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whales, Flipper, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's friend, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At, at quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still more aphids left. You could have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. The end.